Hey, hey, Gump, Gump Tart. Now, see, this is what. Uh, look, listen. Is Georgia Tech a good team? No, but this is kind of the point. Georgia Tech is seven and four. They're an FBS team. They're a Power Five team. They've won six of their last seven. They run the triple option. And Georgia comes out and completely shuts them down and dominates. We don't use no excuses about how cut blocks are hard, woo. Cut blocks are mean, woo. Wait till next week, woo, when you have to play them cut blocks in your triple option. Your triple option is hard, woo. Yeah, against a four-win FCS Citadel team, it took you idiots 30 minutes to figure out what to do with that 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 three card money circus middle school triple option offense, not a real team though. A real team comes out and shuts that crap down from play number one. Georgia's sitting on 350 yards of total offense, 175 running, 175 passing. Georgia Tech's got about 40 yards total, total offense. That's how you shut down a triple option team. Georgia's offense has now scored on 15 straight possessions going back two or three games. Georgia's offense is peaking at the right time. Listen, UMass, Georgia Tech, not great teams, but neither is Citadel. I mean, that, that's, that, that's sort of the point, Gump. Uh, but Georgia's offense is clicking at the right team. I mean, at the right time, we're doing anything we want. Running, pass. I, I told you all we we would have more rushing yards in this game than Georgia Tech did, and it's not even close. We have four times as many rushing yards as this idiotic triple option offense that Bama doesn't know how to stop. Uh, Bama's in a lot of trouble here. Georgia is peaking at the right time. Uh, I really don't know how much of a chance Bama has next week. I mean, we'll find out. We're getting ahead of ourselves. We got one more half to go here. Uh, hold on, what is this? Ah, uh, damn. West Virginia and Oklahoma each just scored six more touchdowns while I was filming this video. Uh, hats off to Oklahoma, though. But how, you gave up 700 yards and win. Man, Oklahoma's piss poor. And, and West Virginia, too. Man, where are y'all at in the comment section? Because... Uh, I tried to give y'all a little bit of credit for defense, and I'm going to be honest with you. It has nothing to do with the score or elite quarterbacks in the Big 12 or whatever kind of excuses or high tempo, off, whatever these excuses uh, th these Big 12 people come up with. Watch the game. Missed tackles. Uh, I, I mean, I don't get holes in the line of scrimmage you could drive a truck through. I, I mean, I can't tell you how many 70-yard touchdown runs I saw yesterday where the guy should have been tackled for like a two-yard game. I mean, it's just pitiful. Both sides. West Virginia, too. You guys, uh, listen, West Virginia can't make any excuses here. You guys should have won this game. You can't win a shootout game like that when you let the other team's defense score, too. And you did that twice. So pitiful, man. But Oklahoma, come on. Uh, I don't understand. If you're an Oklahoma fan, how can you even think you, you deserve any type of shot at the playoff? with the defense, uh, defensive product that you put on the field. It's piss poor. There's no other way to describe it. I dare one of you Sooner fans to show up in the comment section here and try to convince me that it's just because you play good teams in the Big 12. Bull, bull. Uh, basic things like t you, you can't tackle. You're out of position. You can't cover receivers. Uh, you, you're not big enough up front. You get no push on the line of scrimmage. All three levels of both defenses last night were piss poor. Piss poor. But uh, let, let's get back to things that matter. Georgia is dominating a triple option team, an FBS team, a power five team, a seven win team, 38 to seven uh, at halftime, 300 total yards, Georgia Tech 40 total yards. This is what an elite team does. I gotta calm down. You should have seen me. I was irate this morning. I'm staying at this this place up here, and this place is nice. I'm not knocking this place. Uh, this place is nice. A four-bedroom condo. This place is great. But they don't have friggin' SEC Network here, and it's 2018. So the management got an earful from Uncle Lou this morning. So I'm having to sit back here like, like, like I owe somebody money watching the Georgia game on the Watch ESPN app on the MacBook here. Which is fine because then I can watch Michigan and make complete fools out of themselves on the regular TV and flip back and forth to a game that nobody cares about, Florida and Florida State. What a dry-ass game that is. 
Anyway, I'm fired up because Georgia is doing what a dominant team does. They're not coming out like Alabama did last week and embarrassing themselves and making complete fools of themselves and going into halftime tied 10 to 10 with a four win FCS team. Georgia is a dominant elite team. Deal with it. I, I, you know what? All this who has Georgia played, I, I need all that to come to an end. Georgia is fixing to be 11 and 1, playing some of the best football in America at the end of the season when it matters most. And it's high time some of you people in the comment section started showing Georgia and Uncle Lou the, the, the respect we deserve. Now I expect to see those comments down here telling me how good Georgia is. I'll see you after the game.